Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, this isn't going to be a tutorial for you guys, but it might be a tutorial for somebody else that's behind the camera just now. In this video, I'm going to try and follow the steps that Liz is taking to... What's the word? Upcycle? Yeah. Upcycle the bar stools that we've got. Um, one of them is near enough done, um, but the second one that we've got here hasn't been touched at all yet. and somebody else is going to paint it that isn't Liz. So here we have one stool, one apprentice, one teacher. What, what are you going to do with it? First thing is we're going to spray it all down so we can give it a clean. Okay? So what, what you, step back what are you spraying? Bit. We're spraying it with elbow grease. So I'm just stepping back a bit so that we don't, I don't get it in my face. So that, that stuff, I've actually used that stuff quite a lot for my model stuff and that's from, well we get it from Morrison's. I'm standing well back, that's going everywhere. Yeah, that's <laughs> so that's just like a degreaser, yeah? yeah. Degreaser, cleaner, whatever you want to call it. It is okay. it's only like a pound a bottle or something. Yeah, it's just a, it's the same price as any other cleaner. It's but not, it takes expensive. off it takes off everything. Okay. And it's just giving it all a good scrub. You might have to hold it as well, Daisy, so yeah. it doesn't. Um, I'm gonna nip in and get a towel just to dry it yeah, off. Yeah, okay. It. So I think Daisy, this is the first time you've actually featured as such in one of these videos, isn't it? I've been washing sort of clothes in the bath before though. Yeah, you've been yeah, you've washed the clothes in the bath. Or helped wash the clothes in the bath. Which, by the way, still isn't fixed yet. <laughs> Hopefully the next day or two he's coming out to fix that. Tuesday. Tuesday. It is Tuesday or Wednesday? Second. Oh so Wednesday then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. sorry, it's Wednesday. Saturday just now, so sure. Wednesday. You possibly also notice we're doing this outside just now because it is nice weather the house is full of other stuff getting painted so we're trying to use all the workspace that we've got outside being one of them in scotland the nice weather never comes so, so we're yeah today advantage of it and enjoying the sunshine this is the nice weather that we've got even that bernie thing up in the sky is out we don't even have a name for that bernie So, apprentice number one has decided she doesn't want to paint this chair, so... Because she's being a typical teenager and thinks she knows everything. So, this um, chair is now going to get painted by Liz. So, what we've done so far is... What have we done so far? We've cleaned it with the elbow grease that we showed before. Um, then we dried it to make sure there was nothing left of the elbow grease on it because we were sanding it and we didn't want to get wetness in the sanding block. Sanded it, but... Well, I didn't even really sand it, just gave it a very light rub down and some alcohol to get rid of the dust and any remaining grease. And yeah, now we're going to paint it. Okay. I have just seen that. Yeah, we both just seen the same thing at the same yeah. time. I think need to get the scraper. Okay. So I'll do this bit if yeah, you want so to get the scraper. Yeah, so first coat's going on. And um, we'll follow the progress of it.
so that's two coats on now and hopefully you can see a difference coming back into this leg um, it is going to need a third coat and obviously we've got to do like the seat area and the back and things like that once we turn it over the other way um, but yeah it's coming out well um, this one thing we have noticed when using it this paint is that the paint goes on to what we call bare wood a lot better than uh, finished wood um, as an example in the background you've seen these bits here this is something else we're doing and this has had how many coats has this had three. this has got three coats on it and the finish I don't, again I don't know how well you'll be able to see but it's a much better finish the first coat soaked right in um, and it's come up really well so three coats on bare wood and it's definitely three coats possibly even a fourth coat on finished wood that's had to be sanded back wood that's been sealed in some way beforehand um, but yeah we'll come back to you as we're doing some more painting on it so it's been a while in coming um, but if you've watched through to this point you've seen the progress Liz has been making on these two bar stools yeah. that's what we're calling bar stools breakfast bar stools um, they're now finished and this is what we've got so as you can see white and black paint yeah. and then we've got I say we Liz has got these cushiony tie-on cushions on top onto the painted seat base so just going back to the beginning these were gifted to us given to us acquired I, ac I acquired them um, on a Facebook barter page um, so we got them for that I basically provided the person that was getting rid of them with some body shop products okay so. and they weren't in this state they were quite dog chewed I seem to remember yeah it's a while it was a while ago isn't it this was I can't remember yeah but we've been doing stuff in between yeah that, just, that has been, been the project yeah no that, I'll, I'll try and come back into this if I can see <laughs> Are you going to show off the dirty dishes? No. So, try and go back into the shop as well. No. Um, these were acquired a while ago. A lot of other stuff's been going on since. Um, that's better, I'm in the light now. I can, people can see me, see my beautiful face. Um, I think we're looking at four weeks or more. Yeah, but I have to say, it doesn't take four weeks. No, no, it's, it's four, four weeks elapsed time since maybe even longer than that since starting since it but them, yeah. there's been a lot of other stuff going on since uh, and in between to get this finished i'll hopefully get a before picture put up on here if we've got a before picture oh i don't know if we have or not um, we should have if not you just have to rewind the video back to the early part of the video and have a look then mm. and this is what we've got now um it's i said these, these are only going to be staged for staging the house yeah, when we come to sell it. Yeah, they're not perfect by any means. Um, they were kind of rushed a wee bit towards the end. Yeah. Just to get them finished off. Um, but I think they look alright. Yeah, I think they do as well. I so said the light at the minute isn't great in here for well, but seeing them. black and white. People can see their It's black and white. white. And if um, it's whitey white French chic and loof French chic for the black. And these are just, um, they're from Amazon. They're and I think they're, they're actually memory foam cushions, so they're not cheap ones, but they look nice. So and they're the right size as well. The right size, yeah. So yeah, it's cheek paint. Yep. And it was all sanded and rubbed Should down, sort. cleaned down, yep. sanded. Yeah. That was the process. Um, I'm quite pleased with how they turned out, considering the state they were in to start. Yeah. With. I mean, you can still kind of see if you're looking closely like the dog chewed bits, but... But again, if we were going to keep them ourselves, we would have spent a lot more time on them. Yeah, well, I mean, we might still keep them, but we don't know what's happening yet. Yeah. But they're still working. So that's been like the process for these chairs. It's been one of Liz's little projects for this thing. Yeah. Uh, the bigger project, we're actually filming the last part of it after this bit of filming, hopefully. Um, so I don't know if that's been released before or after this video. Um, but that's been the chairs. They can serve the purpose for not much money. Yeah. Um, how much paint would you have needed if you're doing these from scratch? Oh, I don't 
don't know, not very much. Do you think that I used a tin and a half of white on everything? Can you buy smaller tins than that? Yeah. Like smaller tins? No, you can buy what they call tester pots, but tester pots would do those easily. Do so both of them. One one tester pot per colour. Yeah, would, would do would both easily chairs. do both chairs. Easily. Right, okay. So I don't know how big those test pots are in size millimetres, millilitres or whatever. I think they might be 250. 250. I, I, I can't remember. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying that. I really can't remember what it says on the website. Um, but I'll put a link below to where these the paint was bought from. Uh, we're not associated to them in any way. It's just something we wanted to try. It's actually, I'm blaming my sister for this. Yeah, definitely. Kate, okay, if you're watching this, it's your fault. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased how they turned out. Yeah, I can't uh, wait to see what else we can do with the paint. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure if everything goes to plan, there's going to be plenty more projects coming up. Um, yeah. Plans are fluid at the moment and forever changing. Yeah. Hopefully we might have more information on that soon. Mm. Um, but if you're liking these sort of videos that we're doing, this sort of vlog style stuff, give us a subscribe in that corner. Tick the bell to get a notification when we put a video up. Uh, give us a like, give us a comment underneath, tell us what you like, what you don't like. And until the next project, we'll catch you again soon.